everyone, I'm Ferdinand the Carpet Stacker and welcome to the Kickstart Spotlight video where I'm going to take a quick look at some games going to be or is on Kickstarter right now. So that game is Enfruit Town Bumpers from Five Colored Games. Let's go ahead and take a quick little look at this wonderful two player game. Now in Enfruit Town you're trying to do is trying to bump out your opponent champion. So if you are the floppy cat, you're trying to bump out the champion on the positive grilled cheese side. So to make a bump battle, you're going to move a character onto one of your opponent's character. This initiates a battle. So the defending player will get to play a few cards uh, to add to their value of the cards under there. Of course, you can look at your character at any time. And what you're trying to do is trying to put down cards so that the value is going to be higher. Say I'm going to say you can play as many cards you like. So you can play uh, two cards there. The other player will try to go ahead and maybe play uh, maybe one card because it has a good value on it. So at the same time, you buy flip and then you check both of the cards. Some cards may have special abilities already listed on it and you add them up. So in this case, the positive, positive cheese, have, positive grilled cheese has 12 and the floppy cats have 13, beating out the floppy cheese. Uh, but let's go ahead and check it. Some of them have the special abilities on here. Now this wide load card has turn face up on attack, damage hits adjacent cards. Uh, there's no adjacent cards, so we can just go ahead and move on to that. Um, this is an effect because even though it's a sword icon, does not have effect when going in is because it's not face up or in the main card. Um, this one does, it says reduce the opponent's backup card to zero. It does not affect any queasies. Well, even making this a zero, is gonna still make the poppy cat win. So after the battle resolves, the player with the higher total will, will remove the one that was lower into the discard pile. The other cards that were used in battle get to go to the discard pile as well and the winning card gets to get flipped down. This keeps going on, champions can move. Now a player can add more troops onto the board by placing cards that are adjacent to it. And that's how you get more cards onto the board. Now this keeps going on and players can keep playing cards, can moving cards around until somebody wins. There's also other ways to go around the game. Uh, first of all, each of the cards can do something. Um, so a card can be discarded to draw more cards. For example, this eight can be discarded to draw two more cards. So that's a way to get more cards. You always get cards on your turn, but if you find it necessary to bid out your hand because you know your opponent's gonna attack you, it's a good idea to get more cards. So the game builds up, players will move cards around, take turns until one time a card finally takes over one of their champions and then wins. So that was a quick look at Enfu Town and it kind of does kind of remind me of a little bit of Trichigo, um, where the moves are kind of like this buffing aspect and kind of like secret information on where things are going on the board and then finally revealing and seeing what happens. So there's a lot of ties to it, but I think this game does it better. Um, to me, I think it has a bit more strategy to it. Um, unlike Trichigo, this has hand management. You're trying to put cards in your hand, hope play, play the ones that are the best, keeps the ones that probably are going to do better into defending your troops. The game is also very short. It plays around about 10 to 15 minutes for a two player card game. Uh, it's also really easy to teach. There's only about 10 different cards in there. The decks are the same, but I really, really like the art in this. It's really fun and catchy and cute um, and very fun and heart lighted as well. And one of the bigger factors of this game I think I like better is that it is very portable. It's very small, only takes two decks of cards. You can almost play this anywhere and it also comes with a play mat. So that was End Food Town. That is a game that is now on Kickstarter. It's only a few more days left. You can check them out. The uh, way you can find them is you can spell out End Food Town. That is E-N-F-U-T-O-N town that is one word that's how you can find them and look at what they have if this game interests you so thank you very much for joining me today and don't forget to check out this game so so long thank you for watching don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos on boarding card games this is the cardboard stacker and remember to keep on stacking games